Special News Report. Hurricane Aaron, a monster over 700 miles wide and two new tropical waves in the Atlantic. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In today's special report, we bring you the latest updates on a weather event that has captured global attention, the resurgence of Hurricane Aaron, a massive tropical cyclone spanning more than 700 miles in width. Now moving near the U.S. East Coast and the island of Bermuda. In addition, two new tropical disturbances have formed in the Atlantic, which experts warn could develop into storms in the coming days. So, how will Hurricane Aaron impact the U.S. coastline? Can Bermuda avoid its destructive force? And what risks do these new tropical waves pose? All of that will be covered in today's report. 1. Current Situation of Hurricane Aaron According to the latest data, Hurricane Aaron has strengthened significantly over the past 24 hours. Satellite imagery shows the storm's eye re-emerging, now rounder and clearer, with symmetrical spiral rain bands forming on all sides, indicating the system has regained power. At the time of the latest advisory issued at 5 p.m. local time, Aaron had sustained winds of 110 miles per hour, 177 kilometers per hour. This places it at the upper end of Category 2 on the Saphir Simpson scale. Just a few more miles per hour of intensification would push Aaron into Category 3, a major hurricane with far greater destructive potential. What concerns residents most is the sheer size of this storm. From north to south, the associated storm clouds stretch more than 800 miles, while its east-west width exceeds 700 miles, about 1.100 kilometers. With such size, even if the eye of the hurricane never makes landfall, its impact zone remains vast, triggering dangerous surf, damaging winds, and widespread thunderstorms. 2. Current Warnings Given these developments, the U.S. National Weather Service has issued multiple warnings. North Carolina coast, several coastal areas including Pamlico and Albemarle Sound are under tropical storm warnings. Residents are advised to stay indoors and avoid the ocean during this period. Virginia. Coastal zones such as Chincoteague are also within the storm's reach. With forecasts of damaging gusts and hazardous surf. Bermuda. Currently under a tropical storm watch. The island has been advised by forecasters to prepare for worsening weather conditions within 24 to 48 hours. Reconnaissance aircraft data further confirm the storm's reach. Hurricane force winds, as greater than or equal to 74 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour, extend about 40 miles southwest and 50 miles northwest of the eye. Tropical storm force winds, as greater than or equal to 39 miles per hour, 63 kilometers per hour, stretch as far as 250 miles east of the center. This means that even areas outside the direct track will still experience significant impacts. 3. Expected impacts in North Carolina and surrounding areas. Meteorologists warn that North Carolina will see the most immediate effects. By this evening and into the night, gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour have already been reported. As the storm edges closer, sustained winds could rise to 40 to 50 miles per hour, with gusts up to 60 miles per hour, particularly in areas like the Outer Banks, Ocracoke, Duck, and Kitty Hawk. But the greatest threat comes from the sea. Waves are forecast to reach 10 to 20 feet, 3 to 6 meters. When combined with storm surge, the risk of coastal flooding becomes severe. Popular seaside towns are advised to scale back activity. And evacuation is recommended for flood-prone areas. Virginia's coast, as well as parts of New Jersey, Long Island, and New England, will also experience large swells. While these regions may not face direct hurricane winds, the elevated surf alone could damage ports, beaches, and coastal infrastructure. 4. Forecast track of Hurricane Aaron. Forecast models currently indicate that Aaron is following a just close enough, just far enough path. Specifically, the eye of the storm is expected to move parallel to the U.S. east coast, keeping a safe distance from North Carolina yet close enough to generate damaging surf and winds. Afterward, Aaron will track closer to Bermuda, though still at an average distance of about 400 miles. This explains why the island is under watch. Rather than a direct warning, 
Experts call this the best case scenario in a bad situation. If Aaron had tracked inland, devastation would be immense. If it had veered too far out, people might underestimate the risks. Its current trajectory, while still hazardous, helps minimize catastrophic damage. 5. Two new tropical waves in the Atlantic. Beyond Aaron, two other atmospheric disturbances in the Atlantic are under close watch. First disturbance. Located near the Lesser Antilles. This system is expected to bring heavy rain and gusty winds to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and nearby regions over the next few days. However, its likely track northward into the open Atlantic reduces its chance of direct landfall. Second disturbance, Invest 99L. This system is attracting greater scrutiny. Some models, including HWRF, suggest it could develop into a tropical depression, or even a storm, within four to six days. Notably, Invest 99L is positioned at a very low latitude, around 11 degrees north. This increases the probability of it moving closer to the Caribbean islands. Unlike Aaron which tracked northward into open waters, residents in Antigua, Barbuda, Guadeloupe, and nearby islands are urged to monitor it closely. 6. Weather across the Caribbean. Meanwhile, the wider Caribbean is already feeling unsettled weather. Jamaica, heavy rainfall with thunderstorms has been ongoing since yesterday. Cuba, multiple rain showers have been reported due to Aaron's moisture feed. Trinidad, heat index values spiked to 111 degrees Fahrenheit, 44 degrees Celsius, creating stifling conditions. Eastern Caribbean islands such as St. Lucia, Antigua, and Barbuda are forecast to see increasing rainfall over the next two days, with heaviest showers expected Friday and Saturday. 7. Overall Assessment and Recommendations In summary, Hurricane Aaron is an exceptionally powerful and expansive system, even without a direct landfall, indirect effects, including large swells, storm surge, strong winds, and widespread rain, are expected to cause disruptions across the U.S. East Coast and Bermuda. At the same time, two tropical waves, particularly in Vest 99L, present emerging threats. If this system organizes further, the risk of direct impacts on the Caribbean islands cannot be ruled out. Ladies and gentlemen, natural disasters often bring unpredictable developments. With Hurricane Aaron and the ongoing disturbances in the Atlantic, Vigilance and timely updates remain the most important tools for safety. We will continue to monitor these systems closely and bring you the latest information from international meteorological centers. Thank you for watching, and may you and your families stay safe in the face of these weather events.